Hi everyone, welcome back to Humankind. Since we last left off, a little bit has gone on. Edgar had a little bit of a rebellion from his population, even though the Siamese and he's the... the okay, kind of weird. Uh, but we've been bribing them. Uh, hopefully they'll become one of ours. Uh, that would be great. Uh, we, I, expect, I think we ex uh, unlocked the technology that let us increase our maximum city count, so we can go one over uh, once more. Uh, so we're, that's why we're working on that city. I think the alliance between the pink and purple actually ended. And, you know, that's uh, not going too well. But as you can see, we are finally ready to make it to the next age. Uh, purple has, you know, made a, a couple of stars. So I think I want to move on. And pink is um, getting ready to go to the next era as well. Did I get that right? No, 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 no. Pink, pink is in the next era. Uh, and it's three stars. Purple is two stars into our current era, and per blue just made it in. So, it's time to reach the industrial age. Uh, who do we want to go as? See, at this point in the game, I try to want to go for influence, even though I don't actually think we need any more. I think we're doing actually pretty good on influence. So, I think normally I would do the Austro-Hungarians, but I think I'm going to pass on them. I think we're going to go for the French. Mostly because of that research bonus. I need that research bonus. So we're going to go for them. Ah. We all get the Napoleonic uniform. Let's go. Born in the great era of enlightenment revolutions. Will the French live up to their best? Or launch another round of terrors? Well, hopefully we won't go through four republics. Hopefully. I th actually... Is, it Fran is France on the Fifth Republic? They might be. Uh, they've had a lot of governments. Uh, hopefully we won't be like that. Uh, we finally, at long last, made it to the Industrial Age. And we claim our next wonder. Uh, looks like one was already claimed. Uh, we're going to claim the statue of, well, I guess for France. So I guess we should probably uh, start with the Eiffel Tower. <laughs> that would be, make sense. Um, let's, I try to like balance out where I place all my wonders. I, you know, I don't want the cities to feel like they don't have any. So, um, I think this city's got enough. This city's got Temple of Artemis. Okay. Uh, so it looks like, it looks like Dracovor is needing of a wonder. So it'll have the Eiffel Tower. Um, any recommend, recommended areas? No. Okay. We'll just place it right here. And if I can, I think there's still a glitch for this game. Excuse me where uh there's no there's no like check marks for the cities um that's kind of weird uh, sometimes they appear and sometimes they don't and sometimes they only appear for a few cities um anyway we've been expanding uh we've been focusing on districts mostly uh building more districts that's been our main goal oh my god look at all the oil we have wow okay lots of oil and we have some coal um not much Oh, there's some more over here, but uh, like plenty of oil. Okay. Oh, there's, there's some more coal. Okay. So I think we're going to be all right for this age. Um, and having, being the French allows us to actually, so we're still working on early modern. Well, sh we should be shooting past early modern and going into industrial very shortly. And playing as the French will allow us to actually research contemporary level technologies, which are way, way far out from right now. Uh, we'll be able to research those in this era, so it'll actually give us a little head start on research if we need it. Other than that, oh, we've also selected some more, um, we're gonna go for nationalized industries. I'm creating, like, my own paradise, but, um, I think that's got, we definitely want more food. National control of vital products and resources, paradoxically, could provide more freedom and autonomy. I think that depends on who you ask, but... <laughs> Uh, like I, I think I mentioned this before. I think the narrator, um, I really like the addition of the narrator. I think it's a great way to convey the story of what, you know, because this game is, I think, is more about, or at least what the developers try to portray it as, is more of a game where you tell a story with your own civilization, or through the lens of different cultures, you build your own empire and civilization. And... Sometimes the narrator is kind of harsh on you, depending on which path you go for. I think the narrator should just always build you up. Always agree with what you do. So even if you pick something that is maybe like not great in history, like, you know, being an absolute monarchy, the narrator should just be like, yeah, 
Absolute Monarchy is great. There won't be any problems. Well, I don't think it's that great, but you know, I was like the narrator should should build you up a little bit more. Uh, let's go on to the next turn. Oh, it looks like we actually got oh Monarchy Power, Royal Prerogative. This is actually why I was building. Oh, ooh, pollution is coming into the game now. Thanks, Makaida. Um, great. Uh, so the population of the empire continues to grow. So does the monarchy. Yes, it does. And we can finally... So speaking of absolute monarchy, uh, I swear I didn't plan that. Um, we're actually going to go for a constitutional monarchy, which is going to give us easier district buyout, which is great. That's what we're working towards. But also, that's what I want to be. Uh, I want to be a constitutional monarchy. If the people don't have their say in the palace... They might take their opinions to the streets. Yeah, I'd like to remain king. Uh, you know, I, I, it's like a better France. Hey, we're playing as the French during the industrial era. And, uh, you know, it, it's all lining up. But we're a constitutional monarchy. This is the better France where the... Oh, who was... What was the monarchy? Um, there is a specific royal house of France. Oh, it was the house of uh, Gordon or house of Orleans. You know, like, I, I don't remember French. Uh, I took it a while ago. I think it was the House of uh, Orleans. Um, they had a good chance, a good shot of being the final king of France. Well, like, you know, as in final, like, disputed king of France. Like, they they could have secured their throne, and they simply chose not to. So, you know, their loss, uh, I think I think it was probably a lot of other issues also, but I think it was mostly because they didn't like the revolutionary tricolors that I have over here. Uh, of the French flag. They wanted the old monarchy flag. And no one wants that. I like the French tricolor. I think it's a nice... I mean, I like flags a little simple. Um, but, you know, I, it's not too simple. Uh, France, you get compliments from me. Good flag. Good country. Love your history. So interesting. So let's just build a couple more of these buildings. Also, you guys are going to get me lots of science. So I really appreciate it. All right, everyone, the pressure is really on to develop our empire because Makaida just made it to the contemporary age, which is not good for us. Uh, <laughs> well, actually, you know, it really doesn't matter because the game is, like I said, is, the game is about having the most fame at the end. So if Makaida ended the game prematurely, we'd actually end up, might end up winning anyway. And that would be okay with me. Uh, although I would like to have a clean win we've been focusing on building nature reserves because i'm trying to like i don't want to make pollution a huge problem because it does make people kind of hate you if you are like the largest polluter so we're gonna try not to do that but we definitely need to start focusing on industry all right everyone it's 2008 you might know it as the great recession but in this world we know it as Time. we went from the industrial era to modern age and now we can finally do that so it's time for the contemporary era uh we've totally caught up we've actually totally eclipsed with our fame score now we're doing quite well they have two stars on us which is not too concerning actually we're doing great uh one of the things i did we've just been like absolutely crushing it on the wonders uh probably not the I should probably have focused more on buildings early on rather than wonders but anyway since we're basically the only ones still in the previous age and Makaida seems to be interested in other things we claimed all of these wonders here the Statue of Liberty the Eiffel Tower the Big Ben the Big Ben Big Ben <laughs> and we got this one after it which I think was added recently because I don't remember this one the Brussels Town Hall and it gives you 50 fame for each previously claimed cultural wonder which that shot us up about 700 i think uh how many did we have claimed was so a one two three four five six seven eight so eight times 50 no that wasn't can't do math that f oh 400 so i okay well we got us some other stars too but 400 is pretty good for just one wonder and that's on just on top of the stuff we get from building these other wonders as well so not too bad so now it's time to pick our culture i think we're gonna go as the americans i think it seems fitting to end as the american let's go oh well 
Our city needs to do something again. All right, all right, come on, city. Uh, we'll we'll start building. We need to we need to keep importing more uh, from other civilizations. That's what I'm trying to do. But no one really wants to go to war with us anymore. Thankfully, uh, we can see that. Yeah, it's pretty much um pretty much just between us and pink. Uh, purple, blue, uh, not so much. Uh oh, guys. We've made it to the contemporary age, and an unusual wave of sickness has broken out in the overcrowded metropolis of Jraden. Oh no. I guess we're going to quarantine, uh, because we don't want any unexpected outcomes from that. And, oh, firm. I don't know why it didn't confirm. Uh, we have some uranium around. Hey. And we also have some, so, so we actually had a pretty good amount of, uh, resource deposits other than... Some of the early game ones i don't think we had any horses oh no no we i think we had some yeah yeah okay but oh no we actually had a decent amount okay so i actually our place did have a good scattering but you always pretty much need to trade for resources if you want to have a better time uh but we can build the defense agency Ooh, that's gonna be good all right we'll slap a couple of those down uh yes please actually we'll just buy them out all right um i guess we could claim a wonder let's see what's available to oh yeah okay uh, we'll claim it for claiming sake, and we may or may not build it, so we'll grab the Empire State Building. Uh, I suppose, we can probably build it though, I mean, oh, uh, maybe not. Place that, place that. Alrighty, I don't think our religion is gonna eclipse, uh, Zoroastrianism. I think we're gonna have to coexist, and I think that's okay. Uh... You know, better Zoroastrianism than anything else, I guess. Well, I mean, I guess it doesn't really matter in the end of the day. Uh, although, I guess it would have been better if we uh, won out there, but it's alright. There can be two. Deep water disaster. With demand for energy at record levels, fossil fuel sites are their equipment to their limit. Uh, well, let's clean up. Don't want to do anything bad. Uh, are we even... Oh, we're still not... Help, hopefully, we're still not destroying the world. That's good. Um, we're not going to have any stars, but, you know, at this point, if Makaida ends the game, it wouldn't be the worst thing. All right, everyone. We're at long last at the end game. We are in 2170, and Makaida was getting really close to us, but we managed to just pull ahead at the last minute. Uh... She actually beat us to the space race, so I had to play catch up. And what we had to do essentially is I had to destroy some of our old districts so that I could place down a lunar well, the lunar ran uh lunar lander is the one we're working on right now. Uh we actually built the space station before I think Yeah, I think that's what it's We started the space race, uh, on our end. So really the hope is that we can beat them out and end the game. Uh, because they do still have a lot more stars than us. Well, they only have two more, so we're doing all right. But, uh, you know, the sooner we can end the game, the better. All right, everyone. This is it. We are 1.4k uh, fame ahead of Makeda. Uh, Makeda. It doesn't matter at this point. We're going to beat her. Uh, <laughs> so we have completed the Mars colony. And we can finally end the game. But let's read what it's... Oh. Let's read what it says. Red Planet. Nine short months after they left Earth forever, spacefarers from your great empire have completed a staggering journey across the cold, dark reaches of space to arrive on Mars. The team is in high spirits. The first phase of the establishment of a permanent colony on the planet proceeds well, and the opportunities for discovery and enrichment are near endless. With your empire striding two worlds now, your dominance is near in irrefutable. The only question is, do you wish to let your history to let yeah, to let history judge your reign now, or do you wish to play with your rivals some more? Well, I think we're gonna end history now. So at the next, um we'll just build some horses, I guess. Uh we'll choose some remaining buildings to build, I suppose. Uh it doesn't really matter, I guess. Structures, uh we'll just wanna reach the end of the game. Come on. Yes. Nope. Another city. There we go. Sure. End turn. If your journey. The last turn. 
All right, one more, one more go around of building stuff. All right, uh, there we go, and we can end the game at long last. A lot of pollution, didn't uh, quite complete every technology, but made it to Mars, and that's all that matters. Thirty common, first among equals, peerless among peers. Without inflating your ego too much, it must be said that you. Have all right, we did pretty good. I would bet that you'll go down in legend as the wise. Ah, uh, yes. Your dedication to science. science was nothing short of legendary. Well, yeah, towards the end, we were really, uh, really had to speed up. You also gained fame from the construction. Yeah, yeah, of yeah. We don't need to uh, hear all of this. Everybody made a on wonder. The of your ambitions. That's the end of the game. First place we came. It got really close towards the end. Hopefully. Uh, in future playthroughs, it won't be quite that close, but you know, we did pretty good. So our best era was the contemporary era. That's where we really pulled together. But so were, uh, so was Makaida. She really, uh, pulled together there too. All right. It seems like we were pretty much, uh, doing pretty well in fame score, pretty much the whole game. But, uh, towards the, yeah, you can see towards the end, we, uh, intersected at one point and, uh, well, it looks like we both stagnated for a little bit before we... Uh, started to increase but we uh, pulled off the much greater increase and that's the end of humankind I'm sure we'll be revisiting the game in the future uh, I'm excited from what I've seen with the new updates about what the game could be but I'm still gonna hold some reservations I think this game's been out for two years now um, it's I'm still really hope that uh, the avatar customization gets better because I think that would make the game uh, a lot more fun or you know like we've already gone over you know it would just be great if i could play against historical figures that i created or you know like friends if i wanted to do hi everyone thank you so much for watching if you enjoyed the video be sure to smash that like button and maybe even clickety clack on your keyboard leave a comment let me know what you thought i'm wolvox and i'll see you in the next one peace